This is the Sabbath School lesson for the third quarter, 2020. Lesson 3 for July 11 to 17, ready for teaching on Sabbath July 18. Seeing People Through Jesus' Eyes, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Tuesday, July 14, begin where you are. Someone has rightly said, In life, the only place to start from is where you are, for there is no other place to begin. Jesus emphasized this principle in Acts 1.8, in which he declared, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Jesus' message to his disciples was too plain to be misunderstood. Being where you are. Witness where God has planted you. Rather than dreaming of better opportunities, start with those around you. See with divine eyes the possibilities closest to you. You don't need to be the most educated person in the world, the most eloquent, the most gifted. However helpful some of these gifts could be, if rightly used, in the end, all you need is your own love of God and your love for souls. If you are willing to witness, God will open the way for you to do so. Question. Read John 1, 40 and 41, John 6, 5 to 11, and John 12, 20 to 26. What do these passages tell you about both Andrew's spiritual eyesight and his approach to witnessing? John 1, beginning at verse 40, one of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And John 6, beginning at verse 5, Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Twelve hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish. But what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as many as they wanted. And John 12, beginning at verse 20, Now there were certain Greeks among those who came up to worship at the feast. Then they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and asked him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Jesus came and told Andrew, and in turn Andrew and Philip told Jesus. But Jesus answered them, saying, The hour has come that the Son of Man should be glorified. Most assuredly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it produces much grain." He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, let him follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, him my father will honour. Andrew's experience speaks volumes to us. He began in his own family. He first shared Christ with his brother Peter. He developed a cordial relationship with a little boy who then provided Jesus with the material for a miracle. And Andrew also knew just what to do with the Greeks. Rather than debate theology, he sensed their need and introduced them to Jesus. The art of effective soul winning is the art of building positive, caring relationships. Think about the people closest to you who may not know Jesus. Do they sense in your life someone who is compassionate and caring? Do they see in you a peace and purpose that they long for? Is your life an advertisement for the gospel? We make friends for God by sharing Jesus. They become Christian friends and eventually, as we share God's end-time message of biblical truth, they may become Seventh-day Adventist Christians as well. So to finish the day, 
Why can it be so difficult at times to lead our family members and relatives to Christ? Have you been successful in sharing Jesus with any of your family members or close friends? Share any principles that the class might find helpful. Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind and Hearing Impaired, Christian Record Services for the Blind, the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel. You can also listen on the official Sabbath School 4 app and the Apple iTunes app Sabbath School with Percy Harold. Remember, God is always faithful.